police officers may soon have a new weapon to help fight crime. Yeah, we're talking about a new set of eyes and ears that you can kind of think of it as a, a new high-tech partner. Yes. Local force Nick Monticelli joining us live now from Detroit Police Headquarters to explain what this is all about, Nick. Evra, good morning. We are talking about body cams and more in-car cameras for the city of Detroit. Some like them, some do not like them. They are a controversial topic, but if approved by the city council today, more cameras are coming to the city. And if it seems like we've been talking about this for a while, it's because we have. For more than a year, the Detroit Police Department has been looking into body cams for officers, and after a 90-day trial, the department announced they like them and will put cameras on officers and in cars. Officer John Seget volunteered during the trial and wants to keep the cameras rolling. Uh, people's uh, moods actually changed when they found out that they were being recorded. Today, the city council will review a $5.2 million contract with a company called WatchGuard that, if approved, would supply every precinct with 30 body cameras and 20 in-car cameras. That's about 600 cameras on the streets of Detroit. What this is going to do is give us objective evidence of what occurred and whether uh, the officer made a mistake or didn't, what the uh, citizen did or didn't do, we're going to know. The proposed system can integrate the body and in-car camera switching back and forth when officers get in and out of their vehicles. Police body cameras are a controversial topic nationwide. The camera worn by a University of Cincinnati officer involved in the shooting of an unarmed African-American father resulted in a murder charge for the officer. Soon in Detroit, there will be a video record of every interaction between citizen and officer. Anybody, anybody can say anything they want right now, and there's, if there's no video footage of it, then it's your word against their word. So again, the contract, if approved, is $5.2 million, but the Detroit Police Department did receive last year a federal grant for $1 million, so there is some help coming in that way. Everett and Rhonda, a good program that most officers here in the city of Detroit will like, and there's also a lot of lawsuits that stem from interaction with officer and civilians, so this footage will help in court one way or the other. Absolutely. Yeah, you can definitely see how it would be helpful. So Nick, uh, I guess everybody wants to know what's the timeline? How soon could we see these uh, body cameras in place? So again, the city council will be talking about this uh, today at 10 a.m. and the officers and the uh, assistant chief have been talking about this. If approved, they want this to be in place next month. The problem though, at least from my vantage point, is that an installation is not involved or not a part of the contract they're approving. So that has to be proposed and bid on as well. So if next month, it's going to be a very short timeline to make all that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a quick turnaround. All right, all right Nick, yeah. thank you.